you want to play Minecraft with a controller like this Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller or even a Nintendo Switch controller. Well, this video is going to show you how to do that. And in order to do that with Minecraft Java Edition, we're going to need a mod. That mod is Midnight Controls. Now, you can find links to Midnight Controls and everything else that we talk about in this video in the description. We'll also show you what to Google. You don't have to go do that. And for this, we're just going to Google Midnight Controls download and when we do that it will take us right to that modern page we were just on where we want to go to versions and then we want to find the 1.21.7 fabric version click the green download button next to it this will open up where you can download or save the file which we want to go ahead and do now we're also going to need to download the fabric api which we can just google fabric api to find on curseforge and again the download process is similar we're just downloading that 1.21.7 version. Now, while this is down, I have a from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of .xyz.sgh to start your 24-7 DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server. Truly customize the server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to start a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of .xyz.sgh. Nevertheless, we also, lastly, need to download the Fabric Installer. This is what's going to allow, basically, Minecraft to see the controller mod. Of course, it's linked down below, but we can just Google Fabric Installer Download. Um, maybe do some spell correcting there if you need to. And then it will take you here where we can have the official download where you just want to click download for Windows. And then the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file. Now with everything downloaded here, what we want to do is find the files we downloaded, which we can find in our downloads folder. I'm going to move everything to the desktop just because it's easier to manage it all there. But you don't have to. You can do everything from your downloads folder. Now, we're going to move our mods to the side. Fabric API and Midnight Controls, by the way, are our mods. We're going to focus on this Fabric Installer file we downloaded. Double click on it, and it will go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer. At this point, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are closed. Then, we want to select 1.21.7. Make sure Create Profile is checked, and then click Install. The reason that wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.7 before. Go ahead and play Minecraft with that version, and then you'll be able to get Fabric. But you can see it is successful. We can click OK and close out of it. Now, we want to install our mods, and to do that, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, you don't want to play Minecraft yet. You just want to open up the Launcher. In the launcher go to installations up here at the top and then you want to make sure modded is checked as you can see if it's not checked fabric's not there check modded there it is fabric loader hover over it click the folder icon that appears and then you want to find your mods folder open your mods folder and move midnight controls and the fabric api directly into it it's that quick and easy to get things installed with fabric and get your controller mod installed with fabric now all you got to do is play minecraft using your fabric installation and when you do that it will open up and your controller mod will be installed now don't connect your controller until minecraft's open because sometimes that can cause issues if you do now obviously you can connect via bluetooth you can connect via usb whatever you need to do to connect your controller to your computer it can be done now so we can go ahead and connect this on up and as soon as we connect it after a few seconds it will go ahead and controller x input which is xbox input gamepad connected and we are now controlling the minecraft main menu with our controller here we can actually go into options and then in the top right there is a controller menu basically for midnight controls now you can do the different advanced configs here but you can also go to controls and then on the right hand side you have the basically all of the settings and key bindings and things like that and rotation speed and all of the stuff sensitivities all of that can be changed here Obviously, we can come over here to the left-hand side and go through all these. By default, it's pretty much set up like Bedrock Edition. And, of course, we can go play Minecraft multiplayer here by going to here, clicking Proceed. And then our Simple Game Hosting server will resolve and you can join the server. What's cool is this will work on any server as long as it accepts the vanilla connections. However, some servers may ban you for using a controller. I don't love that, but uh, if you're using a Simple Game Hosting server for... Example, it's your server, so you're 100% okay to use this without any issues. And things like Hypixel and stuff probably aren't going to ban you, but check the server rules for each and every, you know, kind of server out there because everyone is different in that regard. But you can see we are moving around here and things are working. And, uh, yeah, you're good to go. You can press Y to open your inventory, all of that stuff. My controller disconnected there because my USB is a bit... Uh, Oh, well, finicky. I pulled on it too hard. But nonetheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Enjoy playing Minecraft with a controller, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.